Well, Lexington got into the mid 90s yesterday, missed our record high by a couple of degrees, and we'll likely do the exact same thing again today. The heat's on. Unlike the past couple of days, though, today the humidity is going to start to rise just a bit, and you'll feel it by later on this afternoon. Plus, we've got some active weather coming, just not this morning. It's a nice, quiet morning. The sun's coming up. The max track is clear. There's really nothing upstream as of yet, but here comes a cold front, and that'll be the driver behind the development of some storms later on today. They'll have a better chance uh, to end up potentially strong to severe where you're seeing that yellow, that slight risk that runs up uh, across the... Uh, well, from upstate New York, uh, they've got a marginal risk over to a slight risk, drops all the way down towards uh, Virginia there. And we have this marginal risk here. So the chance is there to see a few storms that could produce some stronger wind gusts later on this evening. And it's at least a rain chance uh, that's scattered into the evening. Uh, and it's a lower end chance, but at least it's there. And the LAX 18 Storm Tracker Future Track shows the development of it. By late afternoon, you'll see it forming along the river. We'll likely start to see those clouds thickening up. If you have outdoor plans for this evening, be aware that we'll have this round dropping south. Shower storms, some of these could briefly pulse up and give us some stronger wind gusts and then diminish. So between about 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. seems to be about the time frame there. You can see by 8, 9 o'clock, they're already in the southeastern counties. And then uh, once the sun sets and that fronts through, they should rapidly diminish. So primarily an evening issue for us. but. Hopefully, you'll catch a little bit of rain before we get back into the dry stuff. Notice the wind tomorrow out of the north. The humidity that has not been a factor that was so much of a factor last week made it so steamy. That starts to tick up today along with that chance for some rainfall. There you can see anywhere between hardly anything to a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Most folks will be on the lighter end of that, of that range, though. And we're in the upper 60s, but again, that humidity is starting to come up. We're already seeing dew points in the low 60s which is starting to at least show a hint of mugginess out there compared to how you know fairly comfortable it's been, even with the heat the last couple of days. So that mugginess briefly spikes today and then diminishes again tomorrow. The drier air coming in behind the front for your Thursday, Friday, and even early in the weekend. And then over the weekend, we'll see that mugginess rising again. So we're fluctuating. We're going back and forth. This means the heat index will start to register again today. It could feel like it's up to and even over the triple digits, just shy of where we would have a heat advisory issued. So we still don't have one of those. Uh, so this is still much more tolerable than last week, but we're still talking about highs in the mid 90s, about 10 degrees warmer than our average high. And then on the back end of the front, 80s to start the weekend, a brief climb into the 90s again, and then another front with another shower and storm chance late in the weekend that'll tank the temperature again into early next week. So yeah, even ups and downs temperature wise, although they're not extreme, we're going to go from the mid 90s today, upper 80s tomorrow. But watch out uh, that shower and storm chance starting to register by late afternoon, early evening here in Lexington and then dropping southeast overnight tomorrow. Flat out beautiful summer day, really warm highs in the upper 80s, but with the humidity tamped down again, it should be fairly comfortable and just a good uh, sunny, hot uh, summer day out there. Friday, much the same. Into the weekend, the humidity rises. So does the temperature. We're back in the 90s. Could see another round of showers and storms late in the weekend, late Sunday, Sunday night. And then temperatures taking another tumble early next week.